ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज दी टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप और टॉगल फ्लिप फ्लॉप विद इन दी लॉजी सिम एज दी नेम इंडिकेट्स दैट द टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप और टॉगल फ्लिप फ्लॉप हैज ऑलवेज द टॉगल डॉ इनवर्टेड outputs as compared to the initial outputs like uh, let's uh, start a simulation so that you will understand a little uh, better so we will go to our uh, memory section and then we can drag t flip flop now this is your small module of t flip flop in it we can see that there are two outputs one is the clock and one is the input signal now we need to give the two logic states one into the clock and one into the t input so like this and now q and q dash are our outputs so now what 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 will happen now we we can take this hand tool now we can see that by default our q dash is 1 and q is 0 so what will happen this is clock pin and this is t pin now you can see that when our t pin is having zero on its uh, pin then there isn't any sort of effect of the clock on the output but when we will make t is 1 and after it if we used to give the clock pulse then our outputs will be inverted now you can of the initial now this is the initial uh, output and then this is the next output or final output okay then now you can see that okay now we need to make it zero and now you can see that our clock pulse is not having any sort of impact on the outputs now it is one and we used to give the clock now again invert it okay so hopefully you got the concept that how you can use the toggle flip flop or t flip flop within the logisim so thanks for visiting our channel